Hello once again and welcome to Heroes and Droids and tonight we have something special for you. If you've been hanging out over on the H&R side of things, you know that we do the gruesome guide every month and this month we are starting to do the Heroes Guide to 2021 and this month is June. We're going to do June. So I'm welcoming the usual Heroes and Droids crew along with Vanessa, Christopher, and the Slapman. Welcome. Are you guys excited to look forward to June? Yes. A heroic June. A heroic June. <laughs> I have a uh, I have a motion. We should uh we should name this the Hitchhiker's Guide to June. <laughs> Since we're science fiction. That that could work. That could work. I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm, Let's I'm, not I'm, let him improvise anymore. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to go okay, check fine. with legal. I'll stick to the script. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to check with legal to see if we can even do that. I don't know. So, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at eight of the many uh, films that are coming out uh, this month uh, from, you know, the sci-fi to the action to uh, comedy to all kinds of fun movies that are out there. We're going to stay away from the tearjerkers and the dramedy things. I think they might slide in, but uh, we're also going to take a look at a few TV shows. Uh, as you know, we cover uh, many things on Disney Plus, you know, including The Mandalorian, the WandaVision, and uh, we, we've we been doing uh, Star Wars The Bad Batch here just recently. So uh, I'm excited. Let's get into this, shall we? Let's just dive right into number one, which comes out on June 4th, 2021. It's called Sweet Tooth, and it's from creators Jim Mickle and Beth Schwartz. It is uh, based on a DC Vertigo comic that was written and drawn by Jeff Lemire. He's a very popular writer. And it's about a boy who is half human and half deer, and he survives the post-apocalyptic world with other hybrids. It's eight episodes long, and it was a very popular series early in the 2000s, and it's been in development for some time, and it is now making its way this month to Netflix. I got to know, who's excited for this? Uh, Vanessa, I have a feeling you have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those movies that makes you feel, and I don't want to feel. <laughs> I just want to experience. This is going to be one of those emotional roller coaster type movies, hoping that this kid makes it safe to where he's going and he's going to have this pal in the sky that saved him. You know, I don't need that kind of suspense in my life. Okay. I don't need to follow around a mutant deer boy fall in love with him and worry about him dying the whole time uh, no 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 mutant dear boys in your future all right well that's fair enough what about you christopher g Moore? any any love for mutant dear boys i think this is the perfect movie for my redneck family in the mountains of north carolina who like to uh, hunt oh wow no that is that is, that is so wrong from the material Ultimate. no I, I you know what it uh it's it's an interesting premise mm. i like the premise of it i mean it it um it has that fantastical angle, but it also has that interesting thing of like, you know, what would happen if all these babies were being born and they were born like weird and all of them had like animal antlers and all these different things. Uh, what will we do? I mean, it's almost like a little bit of almost like X-Men ish, you know, to where like these people are born with certain freakish abilities or powers or these, these seem to just be like, have or animal human hybrids of yeah sorts. yeah <laughs> um yeah. so yeah it it it, it seems it, it it's such an interesting and unique premise i'm intrigued by it i mean it does does seem to be one of those um i don't know what kind of films to compare it to but it it it, it, it almost like a spielbergish look to coming it, of you know? age yeah, yeah I, that, you're you're right it does it does feel that way it is um we keep calling it a film let's clarify that it is a series eight a series, episodes yeah. long yeah. and they all drop of course on netflix on june 4th but we got to keep things rolling so let's move on to the next one now we've been talking about this one for some time right slap man and this is loki <laughs> from uh, the marvel studios marvel universe loki is making it um i've been hearing all kinds of different episodes uh, from four to eight, but it's uh, from what I gather, it's six episodes that we're going to get uh, on Disney Plus starting June 9th. Uh, the director of the episodes that we know so far is Kate Heron. 
Uh, don't doesn't really have a creator by because uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news, but they don't have showrunners atypical like um, you know like even Sweet Tooth did when we could say who the showrunners were there. So, but uh, with uh, Endgame, Loki grabbed the uh, what, what is it? Tesseract. I want to, yeah, Tesseract. I want to call it the Cosmic Cube because I'm a zombie, Marvel zombie, <laughs> but the Tesseract and goes off into time and he ends up somehow here with Owen Wilson. Don't we all want to end up with Owen Wilson? Okay, Slide Man, the floor is yours. What, 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 what? okay, we're excited. Yeah. Um, no, we're no. extremely excited. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's going to be great. And um, uh, just like WandaVision, this one's going to get weird. And I'm really excited for weird. I, uh, my favorite moments of the MCU in in recent memory have been when they've been more weird than grounded. Um, and this is this is just this is the perfect character. This is the perfect story. This is the perfect situation to be in to really go into full weird before Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Go in uber weird. Uh, Christopher G. Moore, uh, do, why do we trust Loki? Why would anybody put the fate of a world in Loki's hands? Wow, as Owen Watson would say. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, well, that's a good that's a good point. But uh, you know, evidently Marvel wants to see what happens with that. Uh, and you know, a lot of people love love some Loki. Both men and women alike <laughs> have their Loki crushes. I, I um, uh, makes me question my sexuality. Uh, <laughs> Look at that uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think for me, this has the same pull that WandaVision does, you know, because um, it's such a weird concept. There's time travel. There's all kinds of stuff that even ties into historical events. So you have all these different things that sort of like make it to where it doesn't, it's not your normal, doesn't feel like it's going to be your normal series, you know? Um, because even things like, uh, you know, a winter soldier and stuff, uh, Captain America and the winter soldier, how that turned out, it was still very like the normal, like series. Okay. This happens, this happens, this happens. And then we get to here, this one, he's like popping up all these different places, you know? And so it, 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 it's, it's such a weird concept where you see multiple versions, possibly look there might even be a female Loki showing up at some or point a child Loki or a child Loki. But the, the female Loki possibly might be the villain in this. Mm. People have been the rumor. So I don't know. There's again, this is like WandaVision. And I, and I think I think we're going to be like every episode. We're going to be like, oh, what are we going to do? What do we think is going to happen next? Or, oh, did you see that Easter egg? And I think that's that's the thing I'm most excited about, because I think we're going to get back into WandaVision mode of like, yes, yes. you know, what 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 the Loki is happening here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to be covering it on uh, the regular episodes of Heroes and Droids. And uh, I would not be surprised if Vanessa shows up in Loki cosplay many a times. Eh? Eh? Yeah? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Up next is a film that is uh, debuting on Paramount+. Plus. Do you remember that? That's a streaming thing. Um, it's called Infinite. <laughs> it is from director Antoine Fipa. I mispronounced that, but we'll go with it. It is stars the one and only Mark Wahlberg along with, uh, I'm, how do you pronounce his name, Vanessa? Uh, Chiwetel uh, uh, Ch EG4, I think, or something like that. Yeah, think, that is a yeah. difficult one. I uh, Come on, I, I have a hard night, time with Jones. Uh, Dylan <laughs> O'Brien's in there, Rupert Friend, Toby, <laughs> Toby Jones, there it is. And uh, Wallace Day, among others. Uh, this is sci-fi, straight up. Vanessa, you you um you shared that you have a thing for maybe Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg is my forever crush. Oh forever. wow! And nice. ever and ever, I will always be in love with Mark Wahlberg. I uh, will always watch everything he does. So <laughs> we'll see. Not everything he does is good. <laughs> and say I love every Mark Wahlberg movie. Um, this is an interesting concept it's almost like they're trying to lean into stuff that marvel and dc and all these other people are doing in order to kind of put their foot in the door there but in a different way because like you said this has more of a sci-fi bent i guess to it mm -hmm. um <clears throat> so you know I, I like things that lean more towards sci-fi more towards the the star trek ideas of things so <sighs> i don't have paramount plus 
<laughs> you got to tell us. Well, how are you going to get your Mark Wahlberg fix? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, well, let's. let's uh, this is the one we know the least about. Um, it is one that we're just now getting um, some material on. It is, of course, coming to Paramount Plus on June tenth. Which, which uh, the director and star didn't know. They didn't <laughs> until, know until it got released without them being told, and they were very mad about it. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. It, 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 this feels like a. a <clears throat> I hate to say it. It feels like a, a great value version of a Christopher Nolan film, but it's like a Highlander. Like a tenant meets, type. Yeah. yeah. Highlander I mean, meets Wanted meets a lot of different things. I feel yeah. like that's a giant red flag if they didn't tell the director that they're releasing it straight and to the Paramount. Store? A lot of people, it's happening to a lot of people. So it, it's not really a red flag. It's more like, I mean, there's a lot of people that didn't know that about the HBO Max stuff. Yeah. Mm. Totally where they had to go it. in and change their deals. Because a lot of them get back in money off of the yeah. theatrical releases. And so I'd say it has more to do with, you know, the, the studios doing their thing and not telling the people actually who made the stuff, uh, which is okay. scary. Crazy. Nope, nope. Granted, it may be a big stinker, too. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll An infinite stink, uh, stinker. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, peer into that stinker here. On I think show. it looks cool, though. I will say that. It does look cool to me. It's like a cool concept. Yeah, I wasn't sure about until I saw the trailer, and it has intrigued me. I will say that. I will say that. But with the name power alone, the director is a good director, and Mark Wahlberg, and of course the rest of the cast. I'm I'm eager to see it. All right, the next one is uh, we we don't do too many musicals here on Heroes and Droids, but uh, this is one of two that we definitely have to do this year. The other one comes out in December. Is In the Heights. Uh, this, of course, is coming on theatrical and HBO Max on the 11th. Director is John M. Shu, who did cr uh, Crazy Rich Asians. And, of course, it is also um, is by Lynn Manuel Miranda, Miranda, excuse me, who, uh, of course, the man behind Hamilton. Uh, his movie career, though, is it good? He I wrote the music for Moana. He did do that. And, he and he's in... wrote the music for this. Yes. So at least there's going to be some bops in it. Poppins wrote the music to Mary Poppins too, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And there were some bops in that movie too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there were some bombs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, this one uh, stars Anthony Ramos taking over the role from Lynn Manuel Miranda from when he did it on stage. Corey Hawkins is also in there. Great. Leslie Grace, uh, Stephanie Beatrice, Melissa uh, Barrera, Jimmy Smith, Chris Jackson, a name some of you might recognize also from Hamilton, and Mark Anthony. Where did that name come from? Uh, Vanessa, you said something about crying? There's no crying in theaters, is there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course there is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to cry the whole time. This one's going to hit me right in the heart. I, I reserve my feelings for certain movies, <laughs> and this is one of them because it's going to hit me right in the right spot and i'm gonna love like hamilton is one of those he just knows what to say and he knows how to present it and he gets the right people to do it and i'm so excited to be so incredibly full of tears watching this movie <laughs> just cleanse, just cleanse. <laughs> yes it's gonna emotion. be amazing it's gonna be uh, so good uh so I man one thing i don't know about you are you into music does this interest you yes Yes, <laughs> I was very excited for this the first time I saw the trailer, <laughs> like over a year ago. Yeah, over a year ago. Yeah, yeah, and it sucks having to wait so long, but man, it's gonna be so. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. Christopher G. Moore, uh, is this musical up your alley? Well, you know, it's from the director of Step Up to the Streets. Uh, <laughs> Don't knock that. Don't no, knock. Actually, it. I, no, actually, that's a re <laughs> that's a good reason too because I think. I think um, it's always very hard to translate stuff from the stage to screen. And I think the best way to do that is to make a lot of the, the action very kinetic. And this, just the trailer, there's some really inventive uh, choreography um, to a lot of stuff that's happening. A lot of stuff they do with visual effects and stuff. Some really inventive dance stuff, which I don't know how much of that they did in the stage show by the way you know the, the stage show did one like the tony award for best musical for best original score it actually won a grammy award for for best musical show so the music is definitely going to be banging you know regardless of what you might think of other things that 
a certain that certain person has been a part of. Right. Um, but yeah, and it's got, also, it's got a great real, real diverse quick. cast. I'm hmm? oh, sorry, Chris. Real quick, the uh, the writer, the screenwriter, also wrote the novelization and won awards for that as well. So we're in good hands. Well, there you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's gonna be great. Um. Uh. So yeah, I, I think uh, I'm I'm really excited about this. I, I in fact I think when we review it, if we review it for the podcast, we should do it a musical review. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where we sing our review. <laughs> So yes. start planning your songs. It has to be on the same <clears throat> level as the movie with, you know, music. No. Um, he was I'm kidding, my or am I? Boyfriend. No, yeah, exactly. That's the wrong musical. Uh, <laughs> shim -shim 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 um, no, 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 stop. <laughs> All right, next movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go from that to uh, Hitman's wife. Oh Lady my Gar gosh, <laughs> this I, movie I, looks so. <laughs> I've been, I've been, okay, I I really enjoyed the first one. It kind of came out of nowhere. It was a, a, a blast. It, you know, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Samuel Jackson. They play off each other really well. This is a sequel to it. Brings in Samuel Hayek of all people as Samuel Jackson's wife. I already sold but then you put antonio banderas as the villain okay uh you also have morgan freeman for some reason tom <laughs> hover and richard e. grant and frank grillo is in this as well the punisher is in here to give him some crap so <laughs> i this the trailers look fantastic it comes out uh june 18th uh from director patrick hughes um elaborate on how good this looks there good slap man oh my gosh it just i i don't care if it's a if it's bad, it looks like it's going to be so much fun to watch. Um, and that's really all that matters. It looks like it's going to be funny. I hope they didn't pull the pull the card where they put all the funny moments in the trailer. But I'll probably laugh anyway, if, even if that's the case. It just it just looks like it's going to be a fun summer movie. And we need that. God, I missed those. We need that. Mm -hmm. uh, Christopher G. Moore, do you agree with uh, the slap man or is his face I, I, misplaced? Well, I love, first of all, I don't think there's anybody under 40 <laughs> in this movie. So it's it's good to see it all. all it's like Red. It's like that movie Red where they had <laughs> all these older hitmen. It's it's good to see this sort of a uh, range of like older actors and actresses all acting to the hilt. Although I feel like if this is successful, we're going to see Hitman Wife's son's or kid's bodyguard <laughs> probably next time maybe, around. Maybe, right? Um, maybe maybe yeah, this happen. looks like, I mean, I love a good horror. Maybe hard. A good not hard. A good... <laughs> I love a I love a good action comedy. Um, we need more of those in this world, and so this this looks really hilarious. I think everybody seems to be playing to their utmost comedic abilities. Um, it's good good to see uh, uh, Banderas and uh, oh, what's her name uh, Hi Hi <laughs> together. You know, from their Desperado days. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about. It. I I think every time I'd see somebody extra. In a part, I was like, oh, but yeah, it looks really hilarious. So I, I'm sure there's probably stuff, you know, that's definitely not in the trailers. They probably would have to put in like a heavy R trailer. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this one. looks there fun. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, you know, since she is going to have a baby, as I say, in the trailer, maybe they'll team, team up with Vin Diesel for the sequel and just call it Pacifier 2. Let's not um, add <laughs> Diesel to that. We want people who can act. Vanessa, well, you I mean, run? it's all about family, though. Uh, no, uh, no, no, no! Don't. He's got Later. it right. No, <laughs> he's got that Later. bad DNA. Later. No. Later. All right, Vanessa. Final word on this one. Two thumbs up. Sama Hayek is hilarious. If you watched her on Thirty Rock, the comedy here is going to be so good. I can't wait. Can't wait. All right, up next. Coming to Disney Plus is a Pixar film that should be should have made it to the theaters, but uh, unfortunately, with everything, it's one of the ones that are going straight to, to the streaming service. Uh, directed by Enrico uh, Casarosa, did I say that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, June eighteenth, it's called Luca and Slapman. I know of us, all four of us. You are the Pixar fan, uh, the Uber fan, and Disney fan. This one, uh, thoughts? Um, well. Let me start off by saying it's not a numbered sequel, so that's good because Pixar is always at their best when they do original ideas. True. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to be sobbing by the end because <laughs> Pixar knows how to pull your heartstrings. It looks really good. It looks like it looks like it's going to hit all of the right notes for that Pixar has been hitting for so long and. 
Um, yeah, it just it looks like a very wholesome story as well about what is it like friendship and family and mm -hmm. like finding yourself things mm -hmm. like that. So I, it it's going to be it's probably going to be the tearjerker that Vanessa didn't know she wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Vanessa, you're back in the theater crying again, yeah? No, uh, no, you're not because this is on Disney Plus. A home, at home yes. in bed crying. No. I it looks so cute. That's my like thing. he said, so <laughs> stop. <laughs> so dramatic. Are you listening to the cure right now, Doc? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Watch this movie. You need to watch this movie, apparently. Because yes. it looks so cute and so wholesome, like you said. Just it it is one of these will make you feel, but like a safe feel because you know it's gonna have a happy ending no matter what. Yeah. They're not gonna end up killing these kids and eating them <laughs> for dinner. Like that's not gonna happen. So <laughs> I kind of wish you would. We'll go to H&R for right? this. Yeah, for that's sure a different one. Up. So I think it's pretty, pretty safe here. It looks adorable as hell. All right. Well, let's move on to Fast 9. Now, this one I have to jump at Christopher G. Moore on. Uh, <laughs> this is Justin Lin returns to it for the Fast Saga. 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 Just call it. <laughs> uh, June 25th, Universal the Theaters. Uh, Christopher G. Moore. I Did I not drag you to your first of uh, uh, I, I you know what i've only seen two fast movies i saw the first one and i didn't like it i didn't never understood people's affinity for it and then was it was it fast five is that what we saw yes yes okay. one of those yep and that was the second one i saw which i kind of enjoyed because it was just like it was just crazy over the top stuff that makes james bond seem normal um <laughs> And I kind of enjoyed it because of that, you know, and I, so I guess it, getting away from it sort of things of like, Hey, we're, we're going to race and throw your handkerchief and let's go. I'm going to hit the nitro. Look at me. I'm so fast. I'm going to turn, you know, my car, turn it around and we're going to steal stuff with, you know, um, that's the first movie in a nutshell. I know. You've got I know. I know. I, know. I, did, I, 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 was, I, I had some, I had, I had a friend, whose brother was like big into cars and they're like, Oh, I love this movie. And it was like, it was almost like porn to them. I was like, I don't understand it, but I do like the over the top stuff to where they just keep trying to top this off. This <laughs> just looks ridiculous. This just looks ridiculous using magnets. And I mean, and somebody had mentioned like, they're going to go to space next. And I just like this. It seems easily going in that direction. They they the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. They sent Jason uh, to space. <laughs> they did. Uh, of course, it stars Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Joe, Joe Hannah Brewster, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Natalie mm -hmm. Emmanuel was one of the new cast members. I like her, Charlize Theron. John Cena comes in as Tom uh, Dom's brother, and uh, Finn Cole, Sung Hang, Justice for Han, uh, Anna Sewa, Helen Mirren, and of course Kurt Russell. So. I I gotta ask I gotta ask Vanessa are you are you a Justice for Han kind of person? <laughs> Do you even I'm, know? <laughs> I don't care about these movies at all. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I've seen the one where they go to Brazil. Thank you. And that was it. And I mean that was all right. But ever since then it's got crazier and crazier and crazier. And it's just not like I, I'll take Ocean. I'll take the Oceans movies. You can have the fast movies. I'll take the oceans movies. Right, well, I am, I am, to be punny, I'm geared up for this. And I, anyway, <laughs> slap me a final word on it. Um, so I never go into the Fast and the Furious movies um, expecting much. And I think that goes to my benefit because I always come out of those movies enjoying them a lot more than I, <laughs> than I probably should. Um and Christopher G. Moore, the first one is by far the worst one. So I'm sorry that you um <laughs> that... watch the second one. <laughs> I don't know. The first one I did not. <laughs> I did, did. The first one's not good. From three on nine? though, they just get know. so crazy. And I awesome. think it's just a bunch of car people, like you yeah, know, like even cars too. But... Well, I don't. Well, I don't well, know. I don't like guys, but I love these movies. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Up last, but not least, but maybe. Yes. Uh, we have Liam Neeson. He's back. He's on the ice road on Netflix. 
After a remote diamond mine collapses in the far northern regions of Canada, the ice driver leads an impossible rescue mission over frozen ocean to save the lives of the trapped miners. Take a breath. Despite thawing waters and a threat that they never see coming. <laughs> this is June 25th on Netflix. Uh, uh, joining Liam Neeson is um, Lawrence Fishburne. That's always a plus. Uh, Amber Midthunder. That's cool. Uh, Halt McCallany, McCallany, McCallany. How do you say his name, Christopher? Because he's he's the uh, he's the actor that's on. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of the show. Uh, totally slipping my mind, and I had it in my brain. You're losing so, us, Doc. I know, isn't that terrible? <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, uh, I will I, tell you why you look it up. I am super excited for Ice Road Truckers disaster movie. Yes. This looks or, awesome. Or, or the, the slow and the snow flurious. <laughs> oh, no. No, this is going to be amazing. And he said, <laughs> I'm so this, ready. I'm so ready movie, for Lawrence Fishburne's puns. <laughs> this movie looks like it's going to be over the top. And I'm so ready for it. I think I think the poster just shows Liam Neeson's <laughs> thoughts about this film. I know. <laughs> He's like, did I get paid to be in this? I've got a very specific set of skills. I know. Skills Riding that on need ice. to be, you know, paid via check oh. so he, I can do crappy movies like this. He looks like he's going, where's my prune juice? I'm just saying. That's what he does. Um, he looks like, yeah, I'd, <laughs> my truck stopped and I need to take a crap. I mean, <laughs> if you were stuck in on on that road that's below it, wouldn't you have that that face too? Uh, yes, yes, I would. Uh, all right, so Holt is from uh, Mine Hunters. Was the film uh, the show I was talking about? Bill Tench. Anyway, I, oh, Tench. Yes, yes, so I, I, okay, so I uh, believe it or not, I'm looking forward to this. I think this looks like a lot of fun. It it it's crazy ice driving and they're, I mean, at one point they're the ice is like literally cracking underneath their wheels as they're driving along <laughs> and have half the cabs in the water and they're still wait. going for it. It's going to be stupid and fun. Wait. Yes. And Poseidon adventure with, with 18 with wheelers. Semis, yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> sell explosions. It. That doesn't sell. Now if it was a bunch of like love boat people, then it would be Poseidon adventure. <laughs> <laughs> right. that would be awesome. this, this is this yeah i mean this it it seems like a, just a very simple concept they stretched out to an hour and a half or however long this film is i i am i mean granted i do like me some you know uh uh who's in it uh, uh lawrence fishburne uh, and yes, yes. that pair up with liam neeson but this this just seems ridiculous ridiculous yes, yes. Chris, the mission is on thin ice okay we gotta <laughs> get the right people you just yourself. like it so you can make multiple puns i see yes, your game yes, that's you got the long pun game going on oh, this film man. is not cracked up what it needs to be <laughs> oh, wow, that, was, that, was, um, that was backwards but it works all right uh if you're hanging out with us we want to thank you no don't no. make us ice you out chris oh, god <laughs> let it go oh god all right. Thank you for hanging out. We hope you found some movies you or TV shows you want to see in June. We're going to be covering most of them. Maybe not all, but most of them. It's a lot in uh, Heroes and Droids throughout June. So uh, join us for that, especially Loki and the rest of... Uh, My name is Luca. I live on the ocean floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> He's just, practicing for his musical. I'm practicing for the musical <laughs> review yes, that we're going to yes. do of In the Heights. Oh <laughs> you think I'm joking? I, um, I hope you are I? because I'm not going to sing through that. All right, uh, hang out with us <laughs> throughout you. Vanessa, Christopher, Slapman, thank you for joining me. This is a lot of fun. Almost too much fun. Almost too much fun. <laughs> Can't wait till the next month. Uh, that's July. Yeah, we'll oh. be sliding down in our ice trucks. <laughs> uh, time to, I'm time to pull you... up the calendar to see what I can uh, get super excited for. So yes. work on those puns, Vanessa. <laughs> yes, yes. For the yes. for next month. Ice, All right. ice please, ice. please, let's say good night. Oh. <laughs> good night. Good She's night. As cold Leave as before ice. you. <laughs>